Ireland has many excellent stories that were told by people in Ireland long ago. These old tales were told around the fire on winter nights, long before people could read or write. One of our favourite stories is The Children of Leo. there was a king called Lear. He lived in a castle with his wife and four beautiful children, A, Con, Fiocra and Fenuda. Lear's wife died and Lear saw that his children were very sad, so he decided to marry again. Aoife was Lear's new wife. She was beautiful, but she was not the kind-hearted person that Lear thought she was. Aoife grew jealous of them because she could see how much Lear loved them. She planned to get rid of the children. One summer's day, Aoife brought the children to, sw to swim in Loch Der Vaha. When the children were playing, she took out a druid's magic wand. There was a flash of light and the children vanished. In their place were left four beautiful swans with feathers as white as snow. To his amazement, one of the swans called out. It was Fanula. She told him what Aoife had done to them. I have put a spell on you. You will be swans for 900 years. You will spend 300 years on this lake, 300 on the Sea of Moyle, and 300 on Inish Glora. Only the sound of a Christian church bell can break the spell. When the children did not return home, the king went to look for them. But all he saw were four beautiful swans. Lear returned to his castle and pleaded with Aoife to reverse the spell, but Aoife refused. Lear became very angry and banished her from his kingdom forever. To his amazement, Fenula's voice called out to him. She told him what Aoife had, had, to do, had done to them. Lear spent all his time beside the lakes, talking to and singing with his children. When Lear grew old and died, the children were very sad. After 300 years had passed, they moved to the Sea of Moyle, between Ireland and Scotland. It was very cold and stormy on the sea. When the time came, they flew to Inish Glora, by now the swans had grown old and tired. Life here was warmer, calmer, and there was plenty of food. Then one morning, they heard the sound they had been waiting for. It was the sound of a Christian church bell. They swam ashore. Outside the church where the bell was ringing was a monk named Quivog. He was stunned when he saw the four turn into four old people in front of him.
returned to his castle and pleaded with Aoife to reverse the spell, but Aoife refused. Lair became very angry and banished her from, the ki from his ki kingdom forever. Quivog listened to their sad story and baptised them. Soon after, they died of old age. Quivog listened to their sad story and baptised them. Soon after, they died of old age. One night he dreamt that he saw four swans flying up through the clouds. He knew that the children of Lear were now safe with their parents. One night he dreamt that he saw four swans flying up through the clouds. He knew that the children of Lear were now with their parents. <laughs>